question says, I need to forgive, but I'm not sure I've really done it because I do not want to share my life with those persons anymore. Can you help me with your precious words of guidance? Oh, oh. So everyone who has an issue with somebody, imagine yourself with a backpack, front and back, okay? You have, you, you have a backpack and this person is in the backpack. So experience, this person is in the backpack. And that is for any one of you. But I'm addressing exactly this person. I see revenge. I see anger. I see deceit. I see disappointment. I see a lot of frustration. I see it like, uh, like this, like um, tapping with the fist. There is still this relationship. You don't wish to see the person, but guess what? In your mind, you're seeing the person all the time. This is the torture place. So now I'm going to grace you with grace itself to activate your inner grace. And all of you can do a work here with anybody you wish. Welcome the grace I'm pouring into you. Igniting your grace, your love, your light for life. I ask you this question now. Do you wish to continue to carry this person on your, in your backpacks, on your shoulders, in your minds? No. Excellent. For this to happen, you have to look at everything, everything, every energy that you are carrying, making this backpack so heavy for you. Acknowledge, all of you, acknowledge this person has been part of your life or is part of your life. Acknowledge that, yes. Eva, do some work with me, okay? Thank you. Acknowledge, yes, I'm angry at the person. I whatever with this person. Acknowledge that. The moment you will acknowledge, the hardness of resistance will become softer. Experience the softness also. Do not resist anything I'm going to say for now. Nothing. You're going to free yourself tremendously. Resentment, anger, like sentence I'm hearing, wasting my time. The person will never get it. This is judgment. So let's grab the judgment together and place it in our heart. You, those who, get to, who meet me for the first time, you can even place it in my heart. Grab it, place it in my heart. Cut the cord between the judgment and you. Cut that umbilical cord that you've been holding on to, release it. Go back to your heart. Experience now how it feels. Now, any intimate relationship you've been with, you've left part of you there and you have taken part of this person. And when I say intimate, it doesn't mean Romantic, intimate, it's like your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your best friend, your whatever. It has been very, very close to you. I invite you, this is an invitation. If you don't wish to do it, you don't do it. Your energy is still there. Your energies are still there. A bundle of energy of yours, yours is still there. I invite you with your heart with compassion, with love for yourself, with understanding for yourself. Go to that person with both hands. Grab this bundle of energy. Physically, you do it. Grab this bundle of energy of yours and bring it back to you. And everybody can do this. Bring it back to you. That's yours. Put it in your heart. Allez, Emmanuel, travaillez, travaillez. Soyez pas passive avec moi, ça me fâche. 
grab and bring your energy back to you. Now take the energy of the person I'd like the screen to move. I need to see everybody. Grab the energy of the person from the backpack. Front backpack, back backpack, grab it consciously, compassionately, lovingly, because it's like you've stolen the energy of this person and you keep it with you. Hello, hello, hello. Hare, as I will say in India, hare. And give it back to the person. I'll give you back. And don't be emotional about it. Don't cry about it. Because then you're becoming the energy. Be centered and give with love. I give you back your energy. I apologize for keeping them. And I forgive myself for keeping them. Today, don't write down, don't write down. Just do the work, please, please. Deborah, don't write down, do the work. Give back. I give you all of you. I take you back from me. I give you back all of you to you. I take all my energies from you. Emilio, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand, Emilio? Practice, please, because I read energy. I see what I see around you. So please use it, whether it's doubt, whether it's anything. You have doubted the colleagues, anything. Please give back. Take back. What is yours you always take back? whether it's in a present relationship of any, any kind of relationship, whether it's in a past relationship, practice. If it is a lover's relationship, it's important that you take your body back, your sensuality back, your sexuality back, and give to the person all of theirs. And now go into your heart, your own heart. Look at the scene, how free are you? Now say to yourself today, and say it verbally, today I forgive myself as I was in ignorance. I forgive myself. And I ask, and you can even name the person because you are with yourself, you can say it verbally, I forgive whoever it, it's time for you to forgive. So I forgive this person. You say the name, today I forgive you. It could be now you become a little bit emotional. Let it happen. I forgive you. And now humbly, you put your hands on your heart like this. Fold your hands. I ask you, bow your head a little bit. Become humble. I ask you to forgive me. You can even say the name. I ask you to forgive me. And breathe and I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And the backpack by now is not the same weight anymore. And you can practice this for 40 days. Give yourself a work for 40 days. You practice, that you can take, you can write down now. For 40 days from today on, and I'm going to keep that Shakti in my altar. For 40 days, even one minute a day, whoever is in my, in my sphere, that I have not been able to forgive. I'm still carrying on with me because I am resentful, I am disappointed, I'm angry at, I am, what else? Um, you choose. I forgive myself. 
I was ignorant. I did not know better. You are not a sinner to me. Remember that. You are not a sinner. But you can live in ignorance, yes, because you don't know. You did not know. Now you know, but you did not know. So it's, it's, it's okay. Now that you know, take action on that knowledge, with that knowledge. And forgive yourself. Now let's say you knew, you, you knew that you were supposed to not to do something and you still did it. And you feel guilty and you have a hard time forget, forgiving yourself. How many knows that? Be honest, okay? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So go to yourself and say to yourself, I'm aware I knew what I was doing. I'm aware. And somehow I did it. And today I choose to look at the consequences of my actions. and shift gear and be in a different direction. And look consciously of the consequences of all these actions. Les repercussions. How do we say this in English? Les repercussions. The, the consequences. Les repercussions vous reviennent, comes back to you. So now, take all these actions you've done, it is in your stomach, in your guts. It's in your brain. Take it with both hands like this. Look at my hands. Grab it down here. Lift it up and place it in your heart, in that chamber where a repercussion. Thank you. So it comes back to you. Put it in your heart, in that chamber where you can put anything and it's forgiven and it dissolves. You will feel this energy dissolve. It transmutes instantly. The other thing you can do is again, grab this energy. Make sure you don't keep even a hair, even a hair, because if you hold my hair, this one hair, you will be holding my whole energy. So go in that place, lift it up, look at it, and you can pour light into it yourself. Your hands are like this. Pour light into it. Pour love into it. Love it. And you will see it dissolve completely and turn into love or light. Thank you. Is that clear? This is a practice you may practice until enlightenment. Thank you.